Good day everyone and welcome to day 216, turn 216 of your daily Civ 7 news update. Now as I was going to record this no news day, I was watching the Nintendo Direct live stream, hoping for some Silksong news of course, and then randomly dropped some more details on Civ 7, so here we go. First of all, proper leader screens, and this is huge. These appear to be more static images compared to say the absolutely incredible Civ 5 leader screens. However, I think these look pretty good. Uh, essentially just a full screened version of the dinky little Civ 6 ones. Crazy what a difference this makes to the overall feel of the leaders, even Augustus isn't looking too bad there, I'll say it. Uh, alongside this, however, we did also get the reveal of a new leader, Himiko, and unfortunately, well, of all the leaders revealed so far, she's definitely one of them. Um, all I'm going to say is, if you're wondering if you needed that new graphics card to play Civ 7, don't worry about it, it's all good. Um, otherwise, we will also be getting a modern era Meiji Japan. No real surprise here, but still cool to find out. Got some more kind of generic B-roll footage here with some modern era war going on. Good to see planes making a return, and I'll be interested to see and find out exactly how they implement it. That's all I've got for you today. This was a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. I'll see you all tomorrow, but until then, thanks for watching.